Hey guys, it is Maya Kana. Welcome back to my Twin Flame video series. Thank you for tuning in today. It's a pleasure to be connecting with you. Today's video is going to be about the wonderful new energies that we are ushering in at this time. How to accept those energies into your life, what this is all about. Um, and just in general, some ways to navigate these new times that we are in because today, as many of you may know, is the last day of the Lionsgate portal, which started on August 8th, and we are having changes coming in. So I do wanted to talk a little bit about that, but before I do, I wanted to start with some updates today and some announcements, actually. Um, the first announcement is that today's Friday, and so we're going into the weekend, which means that there is the possibility this weekend to do videos with Zaire um, on Saturday and Sunday, and so many of you have requested that Zaire and I do videos together here on this channel this weekend, and so I just wanted to say um, I plan to do one more video um, interviewing Zaire at least if you have ideas or specific questions that you want me to ask Zaire, please um, send those to me at Maya's Bright Star Creations at gmail.com. Many of you know this, but I get too many um, messages on Facebook to really keep up with them. So unfortunately, I am not able to receive messages that way. If you need to reach me, please do email me directly, okay? Um, and the other announcement um, is that next week, Zaire and I will be headed to Asheville, North Carolina um, to participate in some events and I'm going to be doing um, two workshops in Asheville on Twin Flames so if anybody is interested in finding out more about those again please email me at mayasbrightstarcreations at gmail.com. Okay, now that we have gotten that out of the way let us talk about the new energies and how to work with those. Okay so the message that I'm getting through Spirit um, is a message of be prepared for new energies coming in to your union. Or in some cases, be prepared for new people coming into your life. So maybe if you were attached to somebody that you thought was a twin flame, maybe you found out over the past week or so that they're, that they're really not. Um, and maybe it's time to let some new energies in. So what I would say is right now is a wonderful time for releasing all of the things that we know we don't really want to be part of our union or part of our life in the future, okay? We have eclipses coming up here in the next couple of weeks that are going to get rid of things for us if we don't get rid of them for ourselves. Okay, so now is a wonderful time to really take stock of what the heck is going on in your union and ask yourself, are there patterns, habits, um, even physical objects that I've been holding on to that are not helping my union, that I can get rid of, um, that I can let go of, and what kind of new energies do I want to come in, plus what kind of new energies are coming in. And I make that distinction because in some cases, there's new patterns and things that are emerging in our union. They may be different than what we actually wanted, but they still may be in the highest and best good. So I feel like we're at a time now where whether or not we want to begin anew, we're going to begin anew, okay? So we are just stepping into, to me it almost feels like we're stepping into like a new world, like or we're stepping into a totally new phase um, within our unions. So we were, we've been in kind of a cycle in a lot of these connections um, since all these planets started going retrograde and stuff like that, which was in uh, like April, I think. Um, and we've been kind of stuck in this time of clearing and reevaluating and reflecting and all that stuff for quite a while. And I feel like that's really coming to an end now. Um, and we're moving into this new period where suddenly we are able to um, actually begin uh, new cycles and things like that. For the masculine, we're in a wonderful time period for masculine twins where there's great expansion and... Um, understanding and the ability to see things in a new way and 
the ability to step out spiritually and things like that. And for the feminine, it feels like a wonderful time for actual progress in the material world. So the rules are kind of flip-flopped in that way. Um, where for the feminine, you know, even if you've been thinking about opening, you know, a business or you've been thinking about, I don't know, whatever it is, like now's a good time to show up and make those changes. So anyway, what I want to say is that there's seems to me like there's all kinds of new little seeds that have been planted that relate to our unions, our personal missions and our growth and all this stuff. Now, right now, they feel like they're really still just seeds, okay? So there's some, in some cases, they're still under the ground and we can't see them yet. Um, but these changes and things are coming. They are, the seeds have been planted. Most of the seeds, it seems to me, were planted here during the Lion's Gate portal that we've had for the past four days. This is maybe the final, like, seeds are being sown right here in this moment while I'm recording this video, okay? But the seeds are there, so how can we work with this energy, okay? One of the things that we need to know is that now's the time to embrace new approaches to our unions. I feel like things are really changing. I mean, things, the dynamic has changed so much between Zaire and I just in the past couple weeks. It's, to say that it's miraculous is almost an understatement. Like, it's, there's, there's things that I've been hoping for, prayed for, for years that have just effortlessly come into us um, recently. So it's, and I'm talking about in terms of us, how we relate to each other. So that part is just absolutely, absolutely um, amazing. So one of my messages for everyone is don't hold on to the old. Even if there was old things that you really did like, you know, in your union, you might be called to let go of some of those patterns and ways of relating to each other now. Just kind of now's a good time to just kind of sit back and if it seems like something's being kind of taken away from you or it seems like something's kind of on its way out just stay centered within your heart and just say okay good luck like just just like look at what's transpiring because there's a much bigger picture here and there's a much bigger meaning than what we're actually seeing like our vantage point is very limited and very kind of like short term and there's huge things that are like, I feel like we're coming into alignment, a lot of us, with our much, much, much bigger purpose right now. And we're just kind of at the little, like, we're just at the very beginning of the path. And it's, it's we, we can't really see, you know, what this is building into. But I've been telling people this week in my calls, like, you know, this is a wonderful time where manifestations are coming to fruition. But just understand that if what you are seeing come into your life isn't what you asked for, it's probably something better so always in your manifestations you're connecting with your guides you're connecting with your higher self and you say you know guides and higher self it is my truest desire to come into union with this very special person or someone better okay <laughs> always someone better it's my very you know like guides please 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 i would love to fulfill my mission you know as a healer, you know, on the planet and to really become a Reiki healer or something better. Like, this is what I'm talking about with your guys' manifestation. Be sure to include, now's the time to understand that if you're not getting what you asked for, it's probably something better, okay? The other thing is about letting go in the manifestation process. For some reason, this is something that I noticed a lot of people struggle with, but it's come really naturally to me. Like, every time that they're is a new moon or I try to every time do new moon manifestations and and when I'm doing that I put so much devotion into it and so much excitement and I just like buzzy 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 and then I will release them the manifestations like they're the my truest truest highest heart desires but I will release them so much that I usually can't even remember what I tried to manifest like because I just let it go so strongly and I've noticed that in doing this, they all they always come true, like for the past several months. But I won't even look at what I was trying to manifest until the next, until the full moon, like so, or the, till the next new moon. I'm sorry. So for four weeks later, I'll go back to the paper and I'll be like, oh my god, like I asked for this thing and like it's here. But that's the extent to which you want to release, like when you're manifesting the new. You want to just you 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 already probably put out there already what you wanted to the universe. Now is the time to let it go. Don't try to hold on. Don't, don't, don't hold on. I'm shedding over here. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Hold
hold on to the specific look of what you want. Now's the time to now's the time to fully embrace the fact that if you didn't get exactly what you asked for, you got something better. Okay, so the time for saying it's got to look just like this, it's got to be just like this. That time is over. Goodbye. That's in the past. We're here now, and now we, our job is to graciously accept whatever we've been given, and graciously accept whatever um, is, has come and whatever is coming. So I feel like this is kind of an energy for, like, the next, um, the next uh, couple of weeks, maybe. Not quite that long, but say um, a little less a little less than that. So say, just maybe just make it your mantra for like the next week or so. Just, um, thank you so much universe for what you have brought me. Okay. And I want to give you like just an example. This, this sort of sentiment for dealing with newness and unexpectedness is something that, um, is close to me as I work to fully embody my Pisces North Node. But for example, Things are going to be happening, you know, that um, are unexpected, okay? Like, even in our unions and stuff, like, holy crap, like, did my twin just say that to me? Holy crap, did we just get this opportunity? Or, holy crap, why is this thing coming up, you know, from before? Okay, so, basically, the approach to take is whatever comes in, have gratitude for that thing, okay? So, like, this morning... Um, I have a really busy day and a bunch of Skype calls and a bunch of important meetings and stuff like that. And I wake up and I go into the kitchen and I turn on the water and there's no water, okay? And there's many, many, many times in the past where I would have freaked out. Like, oh my gosh, I need to take a shower. I need to do all these things, you guys. You don't even know. I do like three hours of detoxing and energy clearing every morning and most of it involves water so it's kind of an unfortunate thing when I don't have water but instead I just decided to say thank you so much for turning off the water universe like literally like I have no idea why it's happening and I even called the building and they're like we we don't know we have no idea or no idea when it's gonna um to be turned back on but I was just like um you know what this is just a wonderful opportunity. I know that this is going to lead to something good. I know that this is going to lead to something good. That's what you want to embrace um, right now, that sort of message within yourself. And you know what? I, I really embraced that. I was like, I know that this is going to lead to something good. And I started just um, figuring out how I was going to do my day without that. And I realized... Well, you know, since this isn't here, this water is not here, it's actually going to save me a lot of time because even maybe if I wanted to do all those <laughs> energy and detox rituals that I normally would do, I, I can't. So I guess I'm just going to spend some time in the quietness and in the stillness. And um, I did that. And it was just so wonderful. Like, I feel so much more centered, actually, and less stressed because I had more time and space. Um, so... I was a blessing, but whether big or small, my advice to you is embrace the newness and let the newness itself show you where you're going. Like, let the path unfold in front of you. Um, Whatever is there in your dynamic with your twin flame or even personally, just go with it. I don't even know exactly, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I have this weird feeling that this new dynamic is emerging like with Zaire and I, and he is away right now doing work, but when he comes back, whatever energy is there, when we connect tonight, I'm just going to be there in it. And I'm not going to try to change it. I'm just going to be so grateful. Even if it's something that, like, in the past, I might have found issue with. I don't think it will be, but even if it is, I'm going to be like, this is wonderful. Okay? So, I guess, um, by the way, in this video today was based on a card that I pulled from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, which is one of my new decks, and the card was the New Life card. Um, I usually will try to figure out which video I'm supposed to record. Thank you for all everyone who sent me the video topics, by the way, by like pulling a card and I'll see which video topic it relates the most to. So anyway, so that's why I'm making this video on newness today is because of the New Life card. And just understand that 
we are all finding ourselves now on the other side of this energetic portal. And even if you don't know about the lion's gate or what it's all about, just know that there's been a change in the energy of the collective. And it's time for us now to step into our new life. And I do feel like some of us are going to be asked to do things um, and to relate in a way that we might feel like we're not ready for. Um, or like we, we might find ourselves thinking, oh, I need a little bit more time. But just trust that the universe has brought you into the exact moment that you need to be in and that you are everything that you need to be. And if it seems like there's things that's, that are on the way out, like even people, relationships, job, anything, ha habits, just be like, sayonara. Like, just know that if things are being taken away, it's, it is, I'm not going to say it's probably a good thing. It is a good thing. Um, you just may not be able to see how good of a thing it is yet, but you will see that. So, again, if you have questions for Zaire or recommendations for our videos together this weekend, um, please send them to myasbrightstarcreations at gmail.com. And I'm going to leave the video here today. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but... It is just pouring rain outside right now, and to me this is symbolic. This is symbolic of the fact that we are going through a, just a washing out right now and a clearing out, and I just feel that is the most wonderful thing. So thank you guys again uh, for watching and for tuning in. It's a pleasure to connect with you as always, and I'm sending you um, so much love and excitement for your life and for all that's unfolding. So have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and love deeply and have gratitude for whatever is occurring um, in your twin flame journey. So thank you again and namaste. Bye.